decisive victory. I'll take it. I will take it. When the Baron hears how you decimated the enemy, he will be as pleased as a halfling in a pie shop. He may even send a bit of gold by way of gratitude. It would be nice if he did. I wouldn't say no. So I'm kind of hoping that between fragments and clusters I have enough to not... Fragments and shards to not have to send any clusters. You've got a lot of experience. Decisive victory gives you one. And the op... Oh, wow. That's a lot of experience for the optional objective. Interesting. Remarkable. Vasco's a level three. Plus one offense point. Okay, so when you hit level three, you get another movement. That's cool. Sergey, the man himself. Another physical. Uh, that's fine. The gods are with you. Fantastic. Wow. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine experience from that one battle. All right, you've kind of redeemed yourself slightly. Mordred still hasn't, though. Outstanding. Outstanding. You survived. You had no right to, but you did. You just got a bunch of points. Nice. Four experience for the warband. Decisive victory. I'll take it. Six fragments, seven shards, a boon, a light armor, two clusters, two mandrake roots, a mace, 17 gold, another magic shield, a short bow, an axe, a shuriken. And we have to pay 39 in wages, but I am... You guys have earned it. Like, seriously, well done. I am now basically out of money. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. So at this point, I think I'm going to have to go and ship out some of the cash that I've been earning. We'll see how that works. So you've gained another martial ability. Which I think is going to continue going to weapon skill, because it increases your parry chance by another 4%. Sure. Uh, cancel that, because we've still got more skills that we can take. And another point... In strength. And I think we'll get to nine strength and then we'll go on to toughness again. Okay. And then Smiley. You can get another weapon skill. And a leadership, because you're going to need that badly. And strength. Strength. Hit stuff more hard better. And Oxamis. Weapon skill. Definitely. Leadership. Definitely. So you need leadership less. Because you're immune to all the bad things. Might give you alertness, actually. Get your initiative up, because you move slow. And then level 9 of that. You can now carry a boatload of stuff, which is pretty cool. Alright, Vasco. Uh, another toughness, get you some more hit points. Another leadership, so you're less likely to run away. And another weapon skill for more blocking! Huzzah! And now I really need to spend some money on upgrading some of you. Uh, leadership. Weapon skill. And Sergei. Uh, another agility? Sure. Yeah. And then Charles. Leadership. Strength. Alright, that was surprisingly good. Well done. So, the smugglers know. Let's go to the shop first. Because there's definitely going to be some stuff here that I'm not going to need. And in fact, no. I want to have a look at what some of this new gear is. Oh, we've got another shield. Which is the same as the current shield I have. You know what? Vasco has kind of proven himself to be the master tank. So you're going to get that other shield. There you are. I would love to get you some heavy armor. Unfortunately, we don't have any spare. Uh, 
You guys are both better in cloth. And then what was the other stuff here? It was like potions and things, wasn't it? Mandrake Root. Consumed in battle. Self a single ally within 3 meters. Increases armor absorption by 10% for 2 turns. Reduces stun resistance by 50%. Increases perception and trap resistance by 40. It's just that... Don't these take a... Action? Do these not take a move? Oh. Suddenly I'm a lot more interested. They do reduce your initiative, though, I think. What symbol is that? Oh no, it's not initiative. What is that symbol? That one. I have no idea what that means. Is that how long it lasts? Nope. Is there armor for sale? Uh, possibly. I'll have a look in a minute. What does that symbol mean? Seriously. Is that how much it's worth? Because everything is prominently displaying that. I think it must be just power level. Yeah, it must be the power level. So if I go back to the camp and the shop and sell that, it's worth 10, worth 5, worth 5. I can sell the Sigmarite Warhammer because I don't think any of us can actually use it. I'm intrigued as to... Do consumables literally not require anything? I would have assumed they would take points to use. Because giving you some armor absorption, for example, sounds like a great idea. Increases chance to pass all alone fear and terror tests. I mean, that would be pretty good against vampires. Alright, I'll give the big guys those. Bugman Ale. Antitoxin. In case I'm up against Skaven. Uh, you don't need it. And then Greta's Boon was the perception test thingy. You can have a Mandrake root. And then Vasco. You get Bugman Ale. And a Mandrake Root. You also... Oh, I do have a spare helmet. Right, you get a... Pendant. Uh, you can get... No. You can get a helmet, because you seem to get wailed upon quite frequently. And you can get the magic resist, because this doesn't weigh you down or anything, I don't think. Silveraxi looks. I see you there, Silveraxi. Alright. Inventory. You've got all of that stuff. You need an item. Mandrake root. That's the armor absorption. Yes, you can have that. Right, is there anything there which can boost you? Greta's Boon, which is the perception... It just, just, just hasn't been a problem. Really. Antitoxins for more people would be good. Madcap Mushrooms increases melee hit chance by 5%. Increases the chance to roll permanent injury of various types. I'm going to say no. Just say no, kids. Just say no. And yeah, I definitely need to start investing in some... 
uh, skills for these guys. Alright, so fulfilling the request, let's fill up on the number of fragments we're sending you because we want to send you the smallest denomination that we possibly can. We need to send you 100 weight, right? No, 75 weight. And then shards. So we can send you that right now, and it would earn us 125. Well, if we sold 35 and 13 of those just out of interest, just for an idea of the difference in money worth. Oh. Oh no, you can do it here. So what was it? it was 35 and 13 something? Because part of the problem I have here is I have no idea how long a shipment takes to arrive. Yeah, we would earn... There. We would earn so much more money selling it to those guys. Does the Ulfric helmet resemble a wolf? I don't think so. I think we can wait one more day. Because I want to get as many of these fragments as possible and sell those instead. I mean, we can sell the clusters. We have enough to sell clusters. And that would earn us a lot of money. Wow. Um, Alright, hang on. Sigmar's Haven. Skill discount on leadership. And toughness. And weapon skill. And intelligence. And then spells. Or alertness, ballistics, strength, and agility. No, we're definitely going to Sigmar's Haven. I think I'm just going to sell you all of my clusters, like, right now. 450 money worth. Send shipment. Six clusters. Confirm. Can we get enough for, like, ten more points? Yeah, we can. Send you that. You are getting noticed. Uh, paid when they shipments next shipments will arrive in two days. I definitely need to send this now then. All right, good to know. <laughs> and we have enough. Right there we go. There's your, there's your seventy five. Send. Task completed. Alright, and we still have two fragments and seven shards, so we have a bit, we have a bunch of money due in, although it should be noted that that's in two days. We're going to be struggling to pay people unless I sell some stuff to the shop, which I can totally do, because I think the shop is immediate. Sell, yeah. Right, Warhammer. The Warhammer sounds cooler than the Sigmarite. Oh wait. You're an Ulrich. Of course you wouldn't use a Sigmarite Warhammer. You hate Sigma. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sell that. Longbow. We haven't used that so far. I kind of want to keep one of everything. We'll sell one of the Ulrican axes because they kind of suck. We'll sell a bow. We'll sell two clothing because apparently we have some spare. And you get new ones when you get new people anyway. We have shields, but I kind of like having shields and surplus. Sell an axe. Sell a hammer. Sell four daggers because we probably want a pair. All right, so we have thirty-nine, so we should be able to pay at least the next day. We could also sell Greta's boons. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, next day. Shocking is recovered from the brain trauma. And Kalbunga Kid's still recovering. Alright, next day. I just realised I've been playing for 2 hours and 40 minutes and it felt like an hour. I did not realise how long we've been playing. Why are you not stopping? Let's actually do a very quick check on disk space here. Uh, we're fine. 300 gig. Alright, um, so next day. Shockin can come back in.
Do we have a spare rifle? We don't, do we? So, um, Sergei is going to have to go back to the bow. Although you've been really effective with that gun. We could buy... No, no, no. I was going to say, we could buy another one, but I totally don't have the money for that. And yes, that is indeed a wolf helmet. So I think we need to wait until the shipment of money comes in, then we can start doing some training. Uh, do I want to bring you into the fight? Instead of whom? Probably him. Although they can both do a lot of fighting. I mean, actually, the one I'd like to replace is Mordred. He just hasn't been that good. He can't hit a damn thing. I'm actually kind of happy with the party as it is right now. Um, I also quite like shocking. No, we're going to keep it as, as this. We can be a backup. All right, campaign. Uh, River Rats. Which is now considered normal. And we do have a rating of 808. You're a deadly. No. I'm going to go ahead and spend a little. For one more. It's a brutal. Alright. In that case I think it's time to do the river rats. Gaining control of the quayside would open a valuable shipping lane for recovered weirdstone. Let's try it. We're going to use this team again. Let's do it. This barge will bring us to the docks. The quayside is in the possession of the ratkin. If we are to use this area to speed transport of Wordstone to the Baron, the vermin must be exterminated. Only when the last of their foul breed has been driven from the area can we safely begin to use these docks. This will be no easy task. There is no surprising the Ratmen. Their eyes and ears are everywhere. They will be waiting for us to strike. They will have planned their ambush and laid their traps well. You must be cautious as you make your attack, but do not allow caution to make you timid. If we are to have any chance of success, speed is of the essence. The Skaven are a fractious breed, but they will rally together to destroy a common foe. Reinforcements will come swarming up from the burrows of the Ratkin if they think the Quayside will be lost to them. The sewers leading to their burrows must be sealed, or there will be no victory for us here. A band of dwarf treasure hunters failed where we hoped to succeed. Fortunately, they left behind a store of blasting powder in great ironwood barrels. Find these barrels and set them at each sewer junction. We can use them to seal the openings and cut off the ratmen from their reinforcements. This must be done if we are to carry the day and make use of the keysight. All right then. A new round has started. Story missions. During story missions, certain games' rules are different. The enemy warband will never route. Morale has no impact on them. However, your warband is still fully affected by morale. You can only achieve victory by completing all of the objectives. When the enemy is low on warriors, reinforcements will begin to arrive in the battlefield to support them. You'll have control of a unique warrior called the Dramatis Personae for the whole fight. Should the Dramatis Personae fall out of action, your warband will flock to his or her aid and retreat, effectively ending the mission in defeat. Any items gathered will be discarded if you are not victorious. And Dramatis Personae is back there. Alright, so that is Mr. Yorkshire. Keep Luther alive. Alright. And apparently we can already see some of them. Waiting for opponent. So I have to find ten dwarven blasting powders. Can I see them on the map? Uh, no. And I assume that these two are the sewer entrances. Explore the sewer's depths. Not sure I want to explore the sewer's depths. It sounds dangerous. Right, where can I climb up? Is that literally the only spot? Yeah, no. I can go here too. So you being one of the faster guys, I think you're going to try and climb up here if you're able to. Let's try and do that a little bit more quickly. Or you know, not. 
supply him. You only have a 69%, but I'm sure. Success, good. Fortunately, you're not going to be able to get out of the way. There's a two rep men there. Mm. Yeah, blocking the only way up is probably not the best idea I've ever had. Are you dropping down? No, you're ambushing. At one of the ways up, that's just cheeky. And you're going further away? And you're trying to wither something. Why is Charles withering? What? Oh, was that a spell? Oh, there's a new guy there. Luther Wolfenbaum's turn. Uh, you're looking pretty badass. Hold ground. It would be great if I knew what any of these skills did. I'm going to assume it's something defensive. Is it instead of parry? No, it's 78% dot uh, parry chance. Wow. Okay. Um, and you move pretty quickly considering you're in heavy armor. Are there really no other ways up? Nope. There's a thing here to search. Go ahead and search that. Open. Oh, that's my chest. Oh, that's my stuff instead of a cart. I see. Never mind then. Uh, I think I'm going to have you jump up here. And you're going to have to tank that ambush, which we know is inevitably coming. Oh, hi. Oh, you didn't get one. In that case, my attack. Oh, hi. Nice. Oh, and you stunned him. Sweet. You get three attacks. Dude. He's good. Oh, you didn't quite one-shot him, though. And then you could also disengage. Uh, wait, you can disengage for free? No, because he would still get his am No, he's stunned. He doesn't get an ambush, then. Confirm disengage. Objectives updated. New objectives added. Locate... Okay, so we've located some. We need to gather ten. Oh, I see. It's in there. Okay. Good to know. So you... Just need to get out of the way. We'll put you here where you can't be shot at, hopefully. Enter. That's my ambush. Nah. So you do get attacked back. At least I got to hit you first. Horned Panda. Uh, right, Charles has just moved away. So now you can try and climb up. We still have one space free. You failed. You now stuck there? You are now stuck there. That is unfortunate. Vasco! Is that another way up over there? No. That seems really inefficient. Let's go back to here and then just straight forwards. There we are. Climb, 59%. None of my guys are very agile. That's going to be happening a lot. Can I try again? I can try again. 69% this time. Oh, come on! You've lost 22 hit points from this. And you are now stuck in that position. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, so we went and did the, the docks thing, except boss. Uh, slight problem. We couldn't get off the docks. Can I take a name shot? I can. Are you the only one? Uh, this would put him out of his misery. Bye-bye. It increases dodge and parry chance by 5% for one turn. Targets allies with a 5 meter radius and has a range of 10 meters. Oh, is that the uh, hold position thingy? Oh, that's pretty good. Mostly because it buffs allies. Uh, dodge stance. That sounds like a reasonable thing to me. Seeing as basically everything else is now blocked. 
This is down to Luther and Charles. <laughs> um. Let's just go over here and see what's over here. Yeah, there is literally nothing over here. Well, that was fun. I guess we'll just stand here then. In parried stance. Yeah. Hopefully you have an easier shot shooting at me than you do at those guys. And you as well. Uh, you can go and hide behind this. Actually, no, you can go and hide here. No, not ambush. Parry. I wonder if parry means you can avoid ranged attacks. Because that would be kind of hilarious if you could. Uh, you could give Ulrich's gift to somebody. Hold on. You can give it to what's his face up there. Uh, no, you can't. What if I got closer now? No, probably just can't see him. Yay! You didn't explode. And you can only do a perception. Let's have a look around. Nothing. There is nothing here. Sure, ambush starts. A new round has started. I wonder if anyone's going to die trying to get up here. Because that would be kind of hilarious and also really, really bad. Nice hit. And then... Dodge stance, yes. Yes! Yes. Overwatch. An unknown character. Luthor. I might send you up top. Objectives updated. Objectives updated. That Objectives updated. Uh, how do we get up there? 